Alright, so if you're like me, you're probably sitting here eating your French toast and trying to figure out how you're going to get your NCAA videos off of easportsworld.com onto your computer. Now that is the easy part, so let's go to easportsworld.com. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Now I do not have any of my own videos, so I'm just going to use the example of um, new videos. And then we're just going to click the first video. Alright, so there's no sound, just so you know. Alright, so the video is playing. Now, down here, it's going to say download video. You're going to go ahead and download that video. And we're going to save it. Okay, it downloads usually right away if you have high-speed internet. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, minimize and see if the video is there. And there it is. Right there. Alright, so now that we have the video downloaded, we, we need a way to convert FLV file to AVI, WMV, etc. so we can edit the video in Windows Movie Maker. Now to do this, I did it kind of cheap way, free way. I first started by going to Google, typing in flash to video encoder. Go ahead and hit enter. And you're going to click the first thing that comes up, flash to video encoder, right here. It's going to be www.geovid geovid.com that's the site and that's the program we're going to use and you're going to go ahead and you're going to download the free one which is right there it just after downloading it you're going to go ahead and install it obviously and after you have it installed you're going to open the program up alright so I haven't really figured out great dimensions for the program but Anyways, you're going to hit the double dot, or the three dots right here. And that's basically the browse for the file that you want to upload. And so we're going to use the file we just downloaded off of, uh, off of easportsworld.com. For the sake of time, I'm just going to show, I'm not going to actually do the conversion, but you'll be able to get the idea. So, let's see, I did Blaze, Blaze, or, so we're going to go ahead and, that and then we're going to do AVI and I don't know the dimension situation sure alright so after your video is converted to AVI it's going to look something like this and it's going to have that little uh, Hello? watermark in the bottom right and we do not want that watermark in the video we want that watermark out of the video and we also want the bars on the side out of the video we do not like that. So, we're going to hit, go ahead, and we're going to download a program called, um, oh shit, what's it called? Virtual Dub, in program, or download a program called Virtual Dub, B-I-R-T-U-A-L-D-U-B, mod 1.5. So you're going to go ahead and type that in on Google. Virtual Dub is one word. And you're going to say space and mod and space 1.5. You're going to click on the second thing that comes up. It says freecodex.com slash download slash virtual dub mod. So you're going to go ahead and click that. You're going to click download virtual dub mod. Download. Okay, you're going to save it and it's going to save as a zip file. So after you download it and save it as a zip file, you're going to go ahead and go open the zip file, extract all the files and whatnot. And after you have all that situation done, there's going to be a folder called virtual dub mod one underscore five and all this crap. You're going to go ahead and open that file. And you're going to come up with a list of options here. Now, it's kind of confusing because you can't really honestly tell which one to open. But it's just it's this one right here. And it's called virtual dub mod. You're gonna go ahead and open that. All right, this is kind of tricky, but I figured out how to do it. So now that you have the file converted to AVI, you're gonna drag it. Here's our converted file. See, this is the one before. And this is the one after the one that's converted to AVI. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that AVI file onto the virtual dub program. Program's loading. I'm going to eat a piece of French toast here. Alright. So after you've done that, 
in the bottom left corner, there's a play one button, kind of like with an I. It's the second button over from the right. Let me go ahead and hit that button. Alright, so there's our video. <laughs> Geovid. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of the damn bars too. So, go ahead and go up to, in the top left corner, a thing called videos and then filters. Now you're going to have to add a filter, but it's not going to do anything, but it's just so you can crop it. So you're going to click the add button, and you're going to say, hmm, which one's, which one's good? Um, dynamically smooth an image with not smear edges. Alright, so let's go ahead and say smoother. It's just one of the selections that says smoother right there. So just go ahead and click OK and you can just go ahead and click OK. I don't think it's going to do anything. Now you're going to want to crop. So this is the important part. So you're going to click cropping right there and there's X, Y axes offsets that are in right there, right there, right there, right there for X1, X2, Y1, Y2 just like you learned in school. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and say let's see you can drag a thing at the bottom to see what you're doing. So just drag it in a little bit so we can see the actual video. And we're going to say, how about X1 offset 100? That looks about right. 99? Okay, so 100 for X1. Um, Y1 is probably 180. No, 182. 181. Alright, so it's 100 for the X1 and Y1. It's 100 for the X1, 182 for the Y1, which means it's 182 for the Y2, and 100 for the X2. Okay, now that you have this done, you're going to go ahead and click OK. You're going to click OK also up here. Now, it looks kind of weird right now, but trust me, it's not the video. It just takes a second. Go ahead and hit play in the bottom left corner of the screen, and then it fixes it. As you can see, my video is now cropped, so we want to save it. Save as, and then you go ahead and save it as an AVI file, so you can edit it in Windows Movie Maker. Alright, I already saved mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. Now you go into Movie Maker, and you have fun with your clip. And the final product looks something like that alright um... just some notes here uh... It's just, that's just a little test so i didn't really do the best i could um... i still need to mess with the settings and flash the video encoder and basically I mean, when you do that, you're going to want to mess with the video intelligence something, I don't know. And you're going to want to mess with the frame rate. I bet you the higher the frame rate, the better. And also, since there's no audio in the uh, videos off of easportsworld.com, you can go ahead and click audio. And you can go ahead and say capture sound, check it off. But there's no point in having it on. Alright, so... That's basically the tutorial on how to use uh, FLV to AVI files freely. I hope you learn from it. And until next time, I'm going to eat my French toast. Go Mad Mania. I'm out. Peace.